Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review for the game Between Two Castles of Mad King Ludwig's expansion, Secrets and Soirees. And in the game, you will be making castles, but not just one, you'll make two of them with your opponents, attempting to score the highest points with both of them, because the lowest point total between the two castles will be your final score. And so if you kind of gimp out on not putting in enough effort into one of them, that is going to cost you the game. With with the expansion secrets and stories, it's going to come with a bunch of unique new tiles, as well as, of course, the unique tiles themselves. And it'll also provide a single player variant, a two player variant, and an extra eighth player, because in general, the base game plays three to seven. Uh, and it'll also come with two unique activity tiles, or activity tiles and secret tiles that will actually copy existing tiles in your castle or tiles that get placed down. Utilizing the tokens, creating the deck with the automata deck when you're playing a single player mode, brings about a bunch of new variations to play the game between two castles of Mad King Ludwig. You ready to go ahead and give it a look-see? Let's take a look down below and I'll show you what comes in the game. So here we have the expansion for Between Two Castles of Mad King Ludwig. This is the base game over here, and over here is the expansion. The expansion content is going to give you additional new player aids that have both front and backs on them, and they're larger to represent the unique new rooms and bonuses you'll be getting. You'll also be getting a full new score sheet that you'll be able to utilize that is front and back for the same reason, and it's going to include cards for the solo mode variation of gameplay. I'm going to get additional round cards that will assist, assist with the automata uh, deck. And of course, you'll have the two different rules that will be one for the new uh, tiles and unique counters. And then, of course, the two player solitaire modes. So there's two different modes there. This is all the components you'll be getting in the game, which is going to be the tokens that represent the secret rooms, the grand ballrooms, and the new player castle for the additional eighth player. And finally, the tiles you'll be utilizing, which include activity rooms and secret rooms. Basically, the game is going to play exactly the same way and the same function where players are going to take a stack of nine of these tiles here, choose two of them, place the rest of them to the left or to the right based on the round, flip them over all at the same time, and then build castles in between each other, working with one player and another player to build the best castle. Once you go through all nine car cards by doing a draft or tiles by doing a draft, you're going to go the opposite way. And then whoever has the most points between the two castles that they have, will be the winner. 90 points, 80 points, 80 points is your score. Does anybody else have higher than 80? No, you win. If there's a tie, then 90 is the tiebreaker. And that's pretty much the idea of the game. What comes in it, all the different components and whatnot. Um, basically, it all assists together. You can kind of attach them together to create, create a larger formulaic system of the game. But anyway, you get the idea. Let's come up and review the game. And of course, if you want to learn more about how to play the game, check out my first video right here. So let's talk about the expansion and what comes in the game of Between Two Castles of Mad King Ludwig, the Secrets and Soiree expansion. Well, there's the activity tiles, which means you're going to have tiles that are placed adjacent to them, and as long as they aren't a specific tile, they'll score you one point for each up, down, left, and right tile. However, if any of the tiles they don't want are next to them, the whole tile scores you one point. The secret tiles are tiles that you can copy another tile with and provides a load of different unique strategies. Personally, for me, I like attaching them to the painting tiles that also have the same painting that they require and need attached to them. So if you have a tile looking for swords in, in a certain area, you can put another secret tile next to it that has a sword. And so they both score points with each other and you can net a huge amount of points in doing so. Uh, additionally, the game comes with a solo mode variant, which also comes with solo mode cards. So for those of you solo mode, players out there, this game is going to allow you to do that when you include the expansion with it. A uh, nice thing about the game too is of course the larger cards that will basically assist you in playing the game and of course the ballrooms. Ballrooms are super cool because you'll be able to, when you complete the activity tiles in the castle, you can go ahead and place the ballroom out after drawing a certain number of them and they will reflect opponent's castles that are adjacent to your castle, potentially scoring you even more points than a normal castle uh, tile, special tile could, which is uh, an excellent way to play the game in combination with how other players are playing the game. It also comes with these really nice tokens that you can use on the secret tiles that will dictate what type of tile those secret tiles are so that you don't have to remember. It'll be just simply placed there as well. 
overall, the quality of the game is the same as the quality of the original base game between two castles of Mad King Ludwig. If you like the original game trays style and you just want additional components and gameplay, then this expansion is going to work for you. If you need a solo mode game uh, for the base game that you already picked up, or you want to play with the two player mode, you can do so as well. Or let's say that you have an extra eighth player, then the expansions as well, very good for you. Uh, if you're just looking for more components, yes, the game uh, ex explain expansion doesn't come with a whole bunch of like game changing or game variables that are going to be any different other than of course the single player mode. So for those of you, it's kind of more of the same. But do you want that? It's going to increase your playability and stylization, uh, how you work together with your opponents. And of course, the main reason to pick it up is, of course, for the additional player or if you want to play with a lower player count. For me, an excellent expansion. This is one of those I could give or take. Either way, I'd be more than happy to play with it or I do not need it as well. However, I do like the unique little additions that they added, like the ballroom and the activity tiles and, of course, the secret tiles, which is probably my favorite of all in the expansion. And it's something that now that I have, I will definitely include it because it's just more wonderful goodness of the Between Two Castles of Mad King Ludwig. For you though, you'll have to decide for yourself. Down below is a link in the description where you can pick up the game if you would like to. But as you can see, this is the same quality of stylization. The artwork is beautiful. If you like the base game, original game, and you've seen it and it's something that's turned you onto it, uh, then you might want to pick this up. If the base game didn't seem interesting and you thought this might kind of make it a completely different style of a game or unique modules to it, uh, maybe not, other than of course the solo mode to the game. All right, outro. Thank you guys for watching another Unfiltered Gamer board game review for the game Between Two Castles of Mad King Ludwig's Expansion, Secrets, and Soirees. If you're interested, like I said, link down below in the description. You can also go ahead and subscribe to the channel, hit that subscribe button, that bell button, and of course, uh, you can go ahead and make sure that you like this video and comment. Let us know if you think this is an expansion worthy of you picking up. Is this expansion something that has made you more enticed to buy the game? Why or why not? Our live streams are every Sunday, 6.30 p.m. PST, where we play games just like this one every week and you can go and join us watch us play games and of course potentially win games in our giveaway thank you so much patreon members appreciate it you discord people out there who are watching and commenting on the discord and those moonshell backers will have some new information for you shortly as well all right guys that's all i got for you this time and as always i look forward to existing between two castles with you next time <laughs>